We have a game. We have a Chrono JJ. We have a Boit. We have a red colored magic as Ra and a blue colored Ro 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 as Zeus, also known as Eric. What's happening, my friend? How's life? Hey, hey life's busy. Kids, family. But then every once in a while, I got some time to hang out with you. Oh. And the world is complete. It makes everything so much better. Oh my god! I, I have to. I have to admit, I've been um, watching some YouTube videos, um, trying to get inspired by Chrono JJ. There's this guy on YouTube called Frank. Uh, he's got a YouTube thing called Fridays with Frank. It's really quite quite good. I don't know if you've heard of it or not. Seeing as it's in your uh, Frank. it's in your it's in your um, in your field of uh, your profession. <laughs> It's funny. It's good. Oh, Frank seems I, like a cool guy. He, he is a cool guy. I recommend it. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, Eric's playing some Zeus against Magic. Magic's back, and he's. He, I just played him a game, and he's in form. Um, Magic is. He's one of those players that always impress me because it seems like he's always in form. Yeah, well, it takes him a couple of days to shake That's... the rust off, and he's back. It, sh it should take longer than that. Well, I mean, even, too, the, the fact that he has the drive after this whole long time to, like, still be good. Yeah. it's it's really It really is impressive. Like, the, the, the length of time that he's been the top is... Something I could only dream of, boy. <laughs> hey, you've been, you've been the top... You've been the top. Let's let's stop. Let's stop this. We've got a. You're the Ra expert here. I, every time I play Ra, I lose in about four to five minutes. Um, so what's the secret? Please. What's the secret to Ra against Zeus? Is it resign at four to five minutes, or is it try and get past the four to five minute mark? You, you got to have a good late game. Good late game. I oh, see. That's why I lose. Towers Ra. upgraded siege. See, the, long, no the longer the game goes on, the closer I get to hitting the resign button. See, that's what um, people don't <laughs> realize. The about me. <laughs> you got to wear the opponent out mentally. That's right. Well, it's actually, it's wear me See, out physically. Um, mentally, I'm fine. I'm like, I'm fine. I just physically, my, my, my body is just like, no, you're not allowed to play uh, for longer than X amount of minutes. And it says, no. Oh, see, see. So that's why you need to get yourself a few kids. Well, I could, that could help. It could also you learn help. how to, it, well, it, it, in some ways, but it also teaches you like resiliency because they are like parasites and they never go away. Mm. But eventually you just get used to it. And then it's kind of like late game. Raising kids is kind of like late game age of mythology. True. Okay, well, I'll, okay, I'll take that advice. Um, and when they ask me what uh, what to write on Chrono JJ's uh, gravestone, I will... Um, suggest that <laughs> i don't what, know i don't know i don't know where that was going <laughs> we're about to see magic be in a lot of trouble here though because eric's already advanced he's got a forward temple he's throwing double military academy down he is not going to be allowing uh the baboon eating magic to uh get this second town center anytime soon that being said against this strategy that eric's doing uh, fast, fast heroics have always been very, very tough to, to crack um, with these sorts of builds. Go through segment, spam out a bunch of chariot archers, and yeah. you can be kind of fine here. Yeah, see, some magic. He's going for a very old, he's a slow age up, which is okay as long as he doesn't try to get that town center, which I don't think he is because he seems pretty happy to sit in his base. But yeah, if you can get heroic age without getting too much damage, the the chariots really do well against classical age Zeus. Yeah. The one, the one thing that I'm already seeing is going to be a problem is there's no food in Magic Space, so he's, he basically has to go for farms here, which slows him down so much, because you don't need yeah. food. You don't need food when you're in the heroic age. You just need wood, and you just need to be getting the units out. So building these farms, he's going to have to then take the villagers off of the farms to jump onto wood. So he's just spending a lot of resources there. Go go for barracks. Fair enough. Ooh. That's a good response. Uh, I mean, that'll really slow the age up. Yeah, but it's only yeah. Axeman coming. That Wadget is getting super value here. Oh, wait, the Wadget's really good. They're very underappreciated. Yeah, 
Yeah. Do you see the um? Do you see the bug the bug fix in um from from six there featured with that wager? It now uh, the spit actually deals damage when it looks like it's supposed to. Um. I don't think that was just the go with physics. just go with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the fix was so that it reacts faster when units are in line of sight. Okay. The wedget was one of like eight units that have like a one second or maybe slightly longer delay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'll like go. when they automatically attack. And this is why we have Chrono JJ in the in the building. He stops the mis the misinformation. <laughs> yeah. You know, actually, with with Eric going full hoplites. The X Men aren't bad because normally what happens is oh shit oh, that's high value. Yeah, I mean it's shifting sands to kill off. Basically, shifting sands when your opponent is on one town center, using it on that army seems to be a really really good idea. But you have to kill all the units. But yeah, I would have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if there was a slight box or something, something to block the units from retreating away, it would have been great. But. If your opponent's on two town centers, then that sort of shifting sands value starts to go down quite a bit because it's got so much more economy that it ends up being better to try and get more value out of the shifting sands with a, um, like picking off a bunch of villages or doing something like that. But magic gets his rain off. And Eric's going to have to rethink his life decisions because he's going to have to go away from these hoplites at some point here. I think I've been left alone. I was having fun with Chrono JJ, but now we're by ourselves. Uh, I'm oh, no, back. He's back. Oh, he's back. Okay. All right. Happy days. Uh, my Discord decided it wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this 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 pure hoplite thing. It's the uh, yeah. It doesn't. It's an interest. As um, soon as you see the barracks, you have to start going into something else, right? <laughs> Like this, this is one of those things where you use it against a two town center raw and it wins easily. Yeah. But this is, this is not going to go well. He, he might kill the town center, but it's going to be at the expense of his entire army. I don't even know if he will. He does have restoration, but these axemen just completely motor through it. Plus he's got the Pharaoh or, and the priest to empower the town center back up to repair it. Eric is just going to lose his entire army here. Uh, oh man. Well. And that was, a, uh, that was a fast game. Uh, GG, well played Magic. We can go next here. <laughs> Magic is like, what What makes Magic so good throughout all the years is he's just got impeccable decision making. His decision making is always insanely good. And I don't know what it is that separates him from everyone else, but very, very rarely do you ever see him getting caught out uh, with like by a strategy he's always kind of mm -hmm. defending barely by the bare minimum he's like a min defend uh min defender yeah, yeah no that he that, that's actually what i would say like he's not a flashy player like you know there's some players that you'll watch them play and they'll do like amazing like micro amazing moves and you'll be like wow that's amazing it's just he's so consistent like he just doesn't he doesn't make mistakes. Yeah. Um, he he won't knock you down with you know crazy plays, but he won't make mistakes, and then that just minimizes his chances of of, of losing every game. It's just that consistency. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, okay. So Eric here, he's he's kind of slowed Magic down a little bit. He's lost a lot of units. So technically speaking, yeah, Magic is he's in front here in terms of the units lost but eric's been on hunt the entirety of the game so it's not all bad for him he's probably if we actually take a quick look at the post game he's probably in front on the resources which he is so yeah. it's not all bad for him he will have to deal with segment he will have to deal with chariots coming soon so he does need to move into like mass hippocon potentially grab a second town center or go for a hard gold starve and just, ex and his, just that's it, his own yeah his only his only chance is a gold star. So how much gold does Magic have in his gold mine? He's got two hundred gold, and then he can sell wood. So he he should be fine. Just put up a big bull in his base, and if he needs to sell some wood. And the nice thing about chariots is that only forty gold. You get a lot of 
You get a lot of you got a lot of chariots. A lot uh, of value for yeah, a lot of chariots for not a lot of gold. Yeah, there's uh basically at zero gold. If you've got zero gold and you've got all the villagers out, you should be able to make an entire army just by chopping wood and selling it. Yeah. But after that, it's gonna go to eighteen, so you're not gonna be able to get much after that. So you basically got one army more here to push out. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be fine. But still, I, I think I think Eric kind of needs to just drop a town center here. He's at full pop. Get the mm. town center. Go up to 130 pop. That's what he's going to be doing. He's not going for the... I don't think you need to go for the town center for villagers. It's just for the population. Or you can get upgrades, I guess, is the other option if you just went full armory upgrades. It's probably worth a, about yeah, as much. See, see, <laughs> Maybe not quite as much. Right now, if I were magic what I would really consider doing is raiding with a few units. Because he can sit in his base for a little bit. It, it doesn't really matter to him if he sits in base for a little bit. Yeah. No, he's going to go for that gold mine right away, though. He's got the villagers heading out over there. I don't there. think he is. I think he's oh, just he's going, for the, going for the wood for now. No. Why not? And he's going to distract with the raid. Oh, no. He, yeah, that raid needs to go out. He can kind of win this fight. I think though. he wins this. I think Magic wins this fight anyway. Yeah, there's though. no Toxodi. Toxodis are like... Yeah. People People kind of miss... Uh, uh, don't really understand that Toxodis are the unit that is broken in the Greek they, army. They they get yeah. way too much damage for their, uh, for their population. Not way too much. They get a lot of damage for their population and not having them in your army really, really makes things difficult. That being said... You can still find some wins with these hoplites and Hippocon if, if the engagement is good. Well, not if the engagement's good. That's the big thing because I mean everything is pure melee. There'll never be, there'll never be a fight that Magic will let him take that'll allow him to use every single melee unit in the fight. Yeah, like Magic needs he's... to fall back. He's he needs to go back a little bit. The yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. There you go. Because yeah, Eric can never fight here. Sigma's making, a, will just... <laughs> Sigma's making a good point here. I, there was a point where I was trashing on uh, Hippocon uh, with, with of Toxodes. You only don't make him against Egyptian when they're um, making full chariots. Full chariots yeah. beat Toxodes. Yeah. Because of the range. Or maybe even like chariot camelry. You can go hoplite. Hippocon works well. But in this army, Toxodes are a must. And magic should be yeah he's grabbing the town center now and that's gonna be once he grabs that that'll be all he needs to continue winning the, these fights here um still would have liked to seen just a few chariots go off for a raid they can do so much damage yeah just, I, you know, just three the game the game honestly like eric just needs to get walled up take this game like he, he, this is something that i think a lot of greek players a lot of players in general struggle with um, where they're really, really good at it. If they go for like a two town center play, they're, they're able to get the whole map walled up. But they always, but but everybody struggles with getting the walls up while action is going on, like doing a one town center yeah. thing, and then like in that in this middle yeah. section of the game, you have to get those walls going so that you can defend yourself. Because if you start getting raided and getting pushed around the map, that's when things go really bad here for um for the Greek. But he's already in a lot of pain here. Let's see if he can hold yeah. on. He's lost so many units in that retreat there, did uh, Eric. He does have defensive advantage. He's been for a while, though. but... Yeah, he's got defensive advantage. He's going heroic age. But it's it, he's, he's losing too much. That's that's a lot. Of, the Hippocon, they're a premium unit. They cost a lot of yeah. these. Oh, I know. Every retreat, he just loses so many units going backwards because the chariots are just picking everything off. Oh! oh. <laughs> he's gonna, oh, he's really gonna go heroic. <laughs> <laughs> this is what makes it's too late. This is what it's makes magic late. so good. <laughs> it's too late. He's not getting heroic. Oh, oh, oh it's, it's close. It's close. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I love Sekhmet. Sekhmet is a fantastic god power or god. Oh, the, the only problem with segment is it that doesn't have a um like an instant win 
chance. That's why Hathor is so Correct. much better. It's just because there's like an instant win chance attached to Hathor. Right, that being said, Citadel, you're absolutely right. It's amazing. And this Scarab play, absolutely bonkers. <laughs> Doesn't work much, but when it does, it, it feels good. Yes, yeah, but yeah, you're right. Sekhmet, Sekhmet isn't going to get you any cheese wins. It's uh, more of a. You actually draw, have to be skilled. You've got to be skilled to win with Sekhmet. Yes, right? that's, that's the tough part. <laughs> Oh, look at these Hippicon, they're all gonna die trying to kill a, a town center that's not gonna die. <laughs> GG! Man! Magic is back, he's, he's furious. He's back. I do think, like, Eric pushed in, and as soon as you see those axe me, you just gotta go, okay, no worries, yeah. archery range, get the Toxodes out. Because the heart, like, it is actually quite hard for the Egyptian player to fight um axeman slinger versus like hop white toxodi because mm -hmm. the toxodis are always at that 15 range um attacking axeman whereas the slingers they've got right. 16 range but that's like 15 plus six they've got to get really close to take the fight so it can be yeah. quite challenging to win those ones but eric just going hop lights tough good game though yeah, it's fun. It's the little off, you know, slightly off meta games are always, they're always fun. The little variety. Yeah, I'm the, like, the, what's the standard? The meta here in this uh, in this one is like, Zeus goes for a 4:30 advance time, sends his heroes to harass the Ra player, getting the town center up. Ra player shifting sands the heroes away, gets his town center. You go for like an eight in a heroic age, and then the game starts. This one starts a bit faster, a little bit different. Definitely, like when you're in these positions trying to force people out of the book, um, it is you got to have a little bit more uh, stuff going on, a little bit more knowledge of the map, a little bit more knowledge of like how to stop your opponent doing X, Y, Z. And it can be a little bit challenging, but this is a good um, instructive moment about what to do from the Ra side against this. Yeah, yeah he did well. The, I, was a little, I was a little bit unsure about the barracks, but then, as you pointed out, I mean, he's going pure hoplite. So yeah, Axemen just hard, hard counter hoplite. And mm. with no Toxodes, those Toxodes are the scary unit. And then the, the Axemen just get to play. So, well, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, please hit the follow on the Twitch from the YouTubes. Hit that subscribe button. Go check out Chrono JJ's YouTube. He sometimes puts stuff up there. And I'll see you in the next one.